Okay, why did you buy a house that was perfectly built for a SWAT team's room clearing doctrine? Major retard move. There isn't a single good reason for your front atrium floor to not have a decline slash incline slash curved floor and 500 lightly greased bowling balls covering every square foot. Combat boots and bowling balls don't go together. Now buy them en masse. Also, every floor and stairwell you have needs to be built at an angle. Railings are gay. Remove them. Some things that occasionally pop into my head. Doors that open the opposite way. That's good, but how about some that are on the ceiling requiring you to climb? Put a carpet over a hole slash trap door like a cartoon, but it's only like two feet deep and gets filled with cooking oil slash molasses slash whatever else. Trial room in kitchen that only opens once the team uses the materials on hand to cook a worthy meal. SWAT breaks door down. Hidden steel door slams down behind them. It's an escape room and now they all have to work together to progress. It's one of those you must have sex traps just like my Mongolian pornographic tabloid cartoons. Sasuga. SWAT teams are trained in emergency sodomy. An entire house made of stairs. The kitchen is just one part of a stairwell with appliances on the side. The bedroom is just a hammock strung at the base of two staircases. The sinks and toilet bowls are built into the landings of staircases. Basically anything out of the ordinary is going to trip up SWAT teams. They are mostly trained to fight unprepared perps. Simply hiding behind the front door as they open it is gonna guarantee a bad day. Windows don't open. Closed blinds behind them. Fish tanks full of silicone lube behind that. 5mm milled steel plate behind that. They kicked down my door. I have dragon dildos hanging from the ceiling. Just in case this day comes. They fight their way through the dongs. There are casualties. They bust down my bedroom door. I'm wearing a G-string backwards. Covering myself in olive oil. Extra oil on my balls. Playing with my nipples. Moan as loud as possible. Your move, Mr. Lawman. Those cops will never be the same. Leave doors open. Once they enter, doors automatically close behind them. Stroke-inducing strobe lights start up. The loudest speakers you can find playing metal and funk with gunshots. Sirens and police chatter sprinkled into the audio start blasting. Everything powered by a generator or battery pack so it still works if they cut electricity. What could they even do at this point? Sounds easy and cheap to implement and should stop any intruder or SWAT team. Motion activated security lights in every room. But instead of activating a light it activates an 800 watt microwave generator. Light switch that opens a water reservoir on the top floor, flooding everything inside. Reverse the threads on the water shutoff so turning off the water makes the flooding worse. Room filled with large insects, stink bugs, and poisonous spiders. Room filled with brake fluid, motor oil, gear oil, etc. Dixie cups all over the floor filled with HCI or gasoline. 